Hello. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> um, I'm at uh, the start of the Kayama Coast Walk um, uh, at Minamura River. I'm going to do the first section of the walk today, um, about eight kilometers to the Kayama Blowhole. Um, I don't think I'm going to go all the way because I want to see other things and um, 22 kilometers in one go is... 11, yeah, 22 kilometers in one goes a lot um, for me. Um, and I'll take the train back. So I started at um, James Oates Reserve. I parked my car near the train station. So I'll train it back to Minamore. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to uh, take it easy, enjoy the views. Um, it already looks absolutely stunning today. I hope it doesn't get too hot. Um, but I've got plenty of water. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'll be filming this. I hope you enjoy it. I'm sure I will. Um, if you enjoy those videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I'm going to have a lot more and I do have a lot, uh, quite a few videos already. I'll see you soon.
Okay, so this is the end of part one uh, for the Kayama Coast Walk. Um, I think it took me three and a half hours, something like that. Um, very beautiful walk. A few, a few sections are a bit suburban, which I like a bit less. Um, and there's a couple of beaches um, that you have to walk on. Um, Jones Beach, um, and Bombo Beach. Bombo was a bit better because the sand was, was harder. Um, I tried to get across to Cathedral Rocks from Jones Beach, but you can't really do that unless it's low tide. Um, I met a guy on the trail who, uh, who said to me, you can only really attempt that the first time at low tide. Um, mid tide, it's best if you know the place, don't even think about it at high tide. Um, so, so yeah, so I didn't get across, um, although, although if it's low tide, you, you should be able to. Um, yeah, so, so really beautiful walk, not, not very difficult technically, really. Um, so highly recommend. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel and I will have the um, second part of the walk very, very soon.